it's really an extension of our true friendship, but just more of, you know, talent manager. But still, the friendship is still there. But I'm like his biggest fan. Like, dude, we got to do this. I'm putting up posters all over the city. You know, I'm passing out flies. Matthew Taylor, the bomb. You know, I'm doing everything. And uh, we start out small in the movie because we're not a hit yet, and we're we're struggling. You know, we struggle to get to the big to the big leagues. And he takes off with his book, and along the way, he finds Nadine. And I'm like, "Don't do that!" <laughs> and he's like, "I might." <laughs> so you know, it's a testament that when love comes, you know, love has its own timing, and that's what we're trying to show you guys. Like you know, when you when you fall in love with someone or somebody walks into your life. It might not be the right time to you, but it might be the right time for your life. So that's what it is. You know what I mean? And the, what, and the great thing about the characters is we come from, everyone's, I'm sure, broken up with someone. It's been very painful. We, um, at, at, the, at the time that we meet, we're both uh, hurting from a past relationship. And yeah. he's created a philosophy to protect himself, uh, to, to bounce back. And I'm a therapist in the, in the movie, and I don't want to bounce back. I want to sit in it, and I want to... want to sit in her And pain. I want to, like, you sit know, overcome it with time. Six years of no so sex. So no sex, no, sex, no nothing. No I'm man. bitter. I got to stick up my up. ass. What? Up. That's it. That's and all I got up no my ass. no baby face. No, no good, sexy, romantic song. She shut the radio off. I'm mad. I don't want to go out. Yeah. I spend my Friday nights <laughs> journaling. So, uh, and then I meet, I meet this. 